Hey guys, Rand Eraser here. How's it going, guys? This will be, uh, it's a nice day out, and, um, it's also my birthday, if anyone cares. Uh, I finally hit the legal age, and, uh, it's nice to have that, op there, that option more open now, but anyways, um, back to the, uh, Buick. Uh, this will be the, uh, third and final video, I think, on the, uh, update series on the Buick, March of 2010. And, thankfully, it rained last night, and the car got a nice shower. And um, today, uh, we're going to do a little walk around of the uh, condition of the exterior of the car. Anyways, I'll just start off over here, I guess. The first thing you guys will notice is the clear coat. There are two big patches of clear coat that came off during the winter. Um, it was already like that, but not as this big. Uh, fortunately, the snow and stuff got on it. I did have a car cover over it, but it wasn't enough to cover over the hood. And uh, unfortunately, it still kind of peeled it off a little bit more. As you can see, this was last year's, and this is this year's, so, damn, wish I had a garage here, but, uh, as you can see, we don't really have one. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if that's fixable or not. I assume you could sand this down and re-clear coat this patch here, but I doubt it'll look as nice or match the rest of the hood, and obviously the best thing to do is either sand the entire hood down and just repaint it, and that's probably the only option to make it look new. Um, this here was caused by a garbage truck. Uh, the car was parked back here in 2000 and the garbage truck did a pretty bang up job and nailed the car and as you can see did quite a bit of damage on the front here and here as well. Definitely repairable but um, we'll worry about the aesthetics after we get it all running and stuff. So as you can see I did wax it last summer and all that and it kept the uh, bare metal still looking no rust. Little patches but uh, that can be sanded off. This is a little bit worse since this happened um, a year before. Uh, believe it or not, the garbage truck hit the car twice. One, one in 2000, one in 2001. This was from 2000. Uh, doesn't look like much, but actually dented this part. And also kind of crushed the grill and the headlamp here. These two are newer parts. It's, you know, still factory original parts, but uh, they're just, you know, just newer parts, you could say. But, um, yeah, and you can tell the garbage truck kind of slid over here and went boom. Uh, if the car was a little bit higher or the garbage truck was a little bit lower, this might have saved it, but uh, it's a garbage truck. I doubt it would have done much, but um, very strong bumper here. Anyways, that's the issue with the hood. Moving on. Uh, yeah, two big spots. Um, more garbage truck damage, I think. <laughs> And uh, tires, they're all in good condition. Lots of tread. The other one's a bit flat though, it needs some more air in it. The greatest condition on the car is the sides, as you can see. This is my favorite side because all the emblems and stuff are still on. Actually, that reminds me. Here's the Park Avenue emblem. It came off here. The glue finally failed, but uh, we can fix that with some super glue. I'll just set it right there for now. And that's the uh, side of the car. Again, uh, need more air in that tire. Um, up here, we have the uh, roof. And um, it doesn't look as great as it did last year, but uh, my roof's always been like this since uh, it's been parked out here. And unfortunately, it's not like it could get any worse, but um, if I do to get this vehicle running someday, my plan is to either strip the vinyl top off and just paint it or put a whole new one on and uh, take care of that but uh, yeah a few more clear coat problems here not as major as the uh, hood uh, power antenna works but um, it kind of broke here and I had to tape it um, inside the power antenna there's a little plastic piece that pulls it up and down and uh, that's still attached but the metal part broke so uh, yeah, gotta. I'm pretty sure I can fix that <laughs> welding or something. But uh, that's what it looks like when it's sort of uh, extended. For those of you who are wondering, again, Park Avenue emblem uh, up on the window now. Trunk. Yeah, looks pretty much the same. A few little clear coat issues. Um, yeah, no idea how to fix that. But uh, yeah. As you can see, the vinyl thing goes all the way around, and there's a few bumps in places, that's definitely probably rust, so 
this piece here may need to be either replaced or just sanded down and um, I don't know what they could, you do with it. They put like paste on it and just you know try to smooth it out and stuff. Here's another view of the vinyl top actually. Yeah, it does not look very nice, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Rear of the Buick, moving on. This side looks pretty much identical to the other side, other than this one panel here, which looks like it's a bit different color. Uh, paint's obviously starting to fade on here. Tires on this side looks a lot better. I don't know why, they just uh, look a lot better. And um, yeah, I haven't, we haven't uh, actually haven't made a good video on this side of the car since there used to be always a car that sat here and no one ever drew it until they finally got rid of it. But, um, so this side really looks like with the sun beating down on it. The only part of the vinyl top that's actually intact is on the sides. This is probably the original color. You can tell the top's faded, obviously cracked. Windshields are all good, no cracks or anything. Even the rear defroster works. Gas cap, a uh, bit of dings here. Um, I know GM did offer, uh, what do you call those? Um, they're little strips of metal like all the way down here, but I don't, I don't know why my dad didn't get those, but uh, still looks really nice. Chrome's all in great condition. The one big strip that goes around the car. And uh, I think that's it for the exterior. Let's check out the uh, metal on the doors. Still in great shape. Body's in uh, really, really great condition. Especially for its age and the fact that it's been sitting outside all the time. And I already did a review on, or not review, a little condition update on the interior before. So if you haven't checked that out, look on it for my look for it on my channel. I guess we'll get a quick look of the wheel well as you guys are wondering. Can't really see anything. And here's the other tire that isn't flat. Alright. Yeah, some paint coming off here. This is the original paint, I believe, because it's a bit different shade of red than this. Actually, guys, let's see. Um, did a bit more thorough looking around. I believe this here is the original paint. As you can see, it's a bit of a purplish, uh, pinkish kind of color. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they are two different shades. Yeah, nice view of the interior. All right, let's check out the engine before I go over 10 minutes. Yoink. All right, here's your engine. Um, it's pretty clean. A little wash when hurt. Belts are in good condition. Oil, no idea. It's a bit dark, but that's what happens when it sits, obviously. Battery. There used to be a plastic cover here, but I took it off because it had more room to attach the battery. Since it's uh, sideways or side bolts, which I don't really like much. Other than that, the engine's in pretty good condition. 80,000 or 87,000 kilometers. Need some new wipers. You know, they're a bit ripped. They actually still work really nicely since they weren't used much. There's the engine for you guys. Anyways, uh, belt to hit 10 minutes here, which, which, isn't, which isn't good. Last thing I didn't want to show you guys is underneath here, but uh, we'll just do a quick peek at that. Yeah, as you can see, it's a bit uh, rusty under here. It's mainly the subframe and uh, everything else under here. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is the exterior update on the car. I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, uh, just comment. I'll see if I can make another video on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. 19, baby.
Peace. See you guys in the next video.